Quite literally, one of the coolest inventions in history is a refrigerator. This grandchild of the icebox has become one of the most important parts of our kitchens today. It keeps our food all chilla and cuts down on salmonella. Before mechanical refrigerators appeared in the 19 teens, there were more basic ways to keep food cold. People living in colder climates used ice boxes, quite literally constructing a box that would house your milk, eggs, or meat. And the means for cooling it was to tuck a large chunk of ice inside. That ice was either delivered by an ice man or harvested from the frozen surroundings during winter. To have a mechanical refrigerator in your home, you needed to have electricity. So by the 1920s, when electricity became more commonplace, so too did the refrigerator. I went to the Henry Ford to chill out with the museum's curator of domestic life, Jeannie Miller, and to explore the evolution of the beloved fridge. When do we start seeing box-like appliances? Um, by the 1830s, there were ice boxes in people's houses. Refrigerators really don't catch on till the mid-20s when more reliable models are invented and they're also less expensive, so more people can afford to buy them. Early ice boxes and refrigerators looked less like appliances and more like furniture. Ice boxes generally had wooden exteriors just like you would a piece of furniture. And in the 1920s, the first steel bodied refrigerator came out, which was the monitor top refrigerator. And the metal helped retain the cool better? It did. It also was easier to clean, which is a really good selling right. point. Yes. Right. By the 1940s, the fridge changed its look and offered variations of temperature within one appliance. Get a load of that. This refrigerator has a frozen food section. It has a freezer. It has a freezer. It's not very large. And also, it isn't quite as cold as our freezers today. The instruction booklets for these refrigerators comment that you could keep frozen foods in there for two weeks. These early models even had a feature that I kind of wish I had in my fridge today. That is one of my favorite things about this refrigerator. It's the butter bin. It's the butter bin. And this had a separate thermostat for it. Ah, it's a different temperature. The butter it's, bin stays at a different temperature. Absolutely. So you know how you have to get your butter out and let it get warmer so you can use it? You didn't with this. Thanks to the invention of the refrigerator, food keeps longer, and refrigeration also affords us the opportunity to maintain a more varied diet. Jeannie, I'd love to hear more, but my mother is yelling at me for keeping the refrigerator door open. We better shut it. 